Calling on my name, she call me daddy I don't do no chasing for a baddie Yeah, these niggas ain't hit me from the past Sally Let me tell y'all something I got my crown down pat, okay? Hold up, let me show y'all Let me show y'all what's pot You ready? Yeah Woo! I should go dummy, don't lie to me What's poppin'? My name's Season. Welcome to Season Stunt Talk. Let's get into it. All right. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. But hear me out, bro. Where to take a girl on the first date? Where to take a femme on the first date? My personal opinion is that why you're going to the place that you select for a first date is more important than where. Okay? Here are the main rules for a first date. First dates, what you're trying to accomplish is you you want to get to know the girl, right? You maybe want to get busy, all right? Nonetheless, you want it to be fun and you want it to be kind of low maintenance. You don't want it to be too much. You don't want to do too much, all right? You want to bring her into an opportunity where you guys can interact, right? Doing something interactive where you guys can talk about the activity you're doing, all right? And you guys can have fun. With that being said, dinner dates are a no-go for multiple reasons. Number one, when you're first meeting somebody, you guys don't have the vibes yet. You gotta build up the vibes, right? You gotta build up the vibes. Dinner dates are too interview style, right? You're sitting across from her. You're sitting across from her asking questions back and forth, you're eating. It's not fun, right? It's not lively. That's not something you wanna do for the first date. Same thing about movies for a first date. You do not want to do movies for a first date. Movies in general are a good idea for a date, but first date, not. Because you have no opportunity to talk to this person. And they may not be super comfortable with you yet. So you can't even, you know, like, you can't even cuddle in the movies and shit. Like, you can, but it's going to be awkward because, like, we've had no conversation. Anyways, yeah. It might be awkward when you're trying to make a move because you guys haven't had any conversation. Third date, sure. Second date, cool. But first date, nah. Like I said, ideally you want to be doing something fun. So some of my ideas are definitely going to be like bowling. Bowling is fun. All right. Go to the arcade. All right. Rec room, Dave and Busters, whatever. Go shoot pool with her. Go play pool with her, all right? Fourth, these off the top of my head. Fourth, go to the bar. Go to the bar, something calm. Uh, fifth, if it's warm outside, because I live in Toronto. Actually, let me shut the fuck up, because Toronto ain't shit. I'm from Mars, all right? I'm from Mars, so in Mars, it's very cold. Sometimes, all right? <laughs> it's cold sometimes, so... You can't always be outside. I'm not an outside person, especially in cold weather. So these are all indoor activities. I'll give you some outdoor activities in a few. But I said bar, arcade, bowling, glow in the dark mini golf. All right, glow in the dark mini golf. Um, you could go to, whatchamacallit, what's that say? Uh, you could go roller skating, all right? Take her to roller pony. I see, couples there and first dates happening there all the time it's fun and you get to, like, like i'm gonna give y'all the, the the spell on each location that i just mentioned all right and stay tuned because later i'm also going to tell y'all um tell y'all some stuff about you know summer dates and what you can do after the date all right so let's let's start with it so bowling bowling is fun you know what i'm saying it's fun that's all you need if she sucks at bowling you could help her learn how to bowl, bruh. Guide her with the bowling. You could tease her a little bit with the bowling. You know what I'm saying? Bowling's fun. The vibe is calm. And mind you, okay, let me let me make sure I mention this. All these dates should be happening evening, nighttime. We're not doing daytime dates, all right? I'll touch more on that later. I'll touch more on that later, but nighttime dates, uh, bowling, it's fun, it's calm, it's not too expensive, but among the other stuff that I mentioned, it's a bit more expensive, 
right? It's not expensive, but it's more expensive than, than some of the other stuff that I mentioned. So yeah, bowling is top tier. Arcade, arcade is one of my personal faves because depending on the arcade that you go to, right? There's tons of different styles of arcades. All right, some of the popular ones, like I said, are gonna be the Rec Room, Dave & Buster's. They're open late, all right? That's a huge plus, they're open late. And for the Rec Room especially, it's not that much bread to go in there and play most of the games, you feel me? For two people, it's not that much bread. So it's a cheaper date, but it's fun. There's so many different stuff to do, so many different games that you guys could talk about. It's just a lot to do, right? The point of all these dates is that the activity has to be fun. It has to be lively. When you're at dinner, it's like the only thing there to talk about is the food. If not the food, then you're just asking each other questions back and forth, right? Which is interview style. The dates that I'm mentioning, you can talk about the activity. It makes conversation easy, guys. Easy. You want conversation to be easy on the first date. Put yourself in situations to make conversation easy. Arcade is perfect. There's way too much shit to do. Even if y'all not, you know, going into deep conversation about, you know, you guys, like asking questions back and forth, you can always just talk about the atmosphere, the food, the drinks, the games. Like, it's easy to talk, bro. Come on. So, yeah, I do arcade. And like I said, there's multiple different arcades. There's vintage arcades which are hella cheap. You go in there, all the games are free. They usually have a bar in there, you know what I'm saying? So easy money, bro, easy money. If not, then, you know, like I said, Dave & Buster's, the rec room, when you go at night, when you go at night, it's a vibe. And if you're ever going to a place where there's a possibility that kids will be around, like the rec room, Dave & Buster's, they're open to all ages, I'm pretty sure. But I don't ever see kids there, you know why? I'm only there at fucking night, bro. Don't go there on a Saturday at 3 p.m., right? You want to have the vibe nice and, you know, not necessarily romantic, but adult, adult, right? You don't want a bunch of kids running around screaming and shit. I make sure your dates are at night. What else did I mention? I said arcade. I said shoot pool with her. Um, that's a vibe, you know, get behind help her out, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, go in the dark mini golf, it's a very aesthetic, cute day, it's fun. Like, trust me, everything I'm saying, it goes hand in hand. These dates, they're all in different locations, but they're all the same because they all serve the same purpose, which is to be in a fun, nice environment, make easy conversation, and have an activity that is enjoyable. You don't want it to be too serious. You never want your first date to be too serious. You want it to be calm, fun, and yeah, just vibe. And roller skating. Okay, roller skating is also the one that I mentioned. Roller skating is perfect, you know why? Because if you guys are both trash at roller skating, or if you're good, she's bad, she's she's good, you're bad, either way, it's so easy to hold hands. Hold hands, hold her waist, you know, help her practice together. It's a very intimate date that's fun because you guys are going to expect to hold hands in some type of way, to physically touch each other in some type of way. Right? It's one of those. It's one of those. And you know, you, you, you know. Come on, bro. You know. So, yeah, those are my top four or five. I don't know if that was four or five. Whatever. I gave y'all ideas. Now, those are places you can take them. But what's more important than the place, as I said, is the reason why you're taking them there. I just gave you a bunch of reasons why. But for you personally, you have to make a decision about what you enjoy doing, right? You never want to take a girl on a first date to something that she only wants to do. Don't plan the date revolving around her interests, bro. Take her to some shit you want to do. Take her somewhere you want to do. Wait, that don't make sense. <laughs> take her to somewhere you want to go, all right? Take her to somewhere you want to go. If you've been wanting to check out, you know, the roller skating spot, take her there. If You've been wanting to go to the arcade, take her there because you want to go. You know what I'm saying? When you're inviting a girl on a first date, 
it's kind of like you're gonna go there regardless you like going there regardless so why not add her to the picture you guys enjoy each other's company you never want to do the most think oh my god okay what does she like to do um i'm gonna take her dinner then i'm gonna do this then i'm gonna do this. no no need to overthink bro take her somewhere that you go often or somewhere new that you want to try out bro it's about you because at the end of the day if you're asking her out bro you're expected to be leading the date all right leading the date does not mean that you gotta wine and dine her and do all this extra shit it just means you can be comfortable in the space you can enjoy yourself and it's not gonna be awkward you know what i'm saying the last thing you want to do is you know let's say she likes doing a specific activity you take her to do that activity just because she said like for example let's say a girl says she really likes painting painting is cool i feel like that's a cool date idea as well but let's say you hate painting personally you hate painting and you take her to go painting just because she said she wants to go to painting guess what now your vibe is going to be off because you don't even want to be there for real you're not enjoying yourself you're not having fun so she's not even going to fucking like you because your vibe is off bro that's why i say take her somewhere you want to go so that your vibe just naturally being in the environment can be the right vibe you can feel confident and you can feel good all right also i mentioned earlier it needs to be a nighttime date. Listen, I don't want to say that this is a hard rule, like only nighttime dates. That's not the truth, bro. You can take her on a daytime date, but I feel like nighttime dates are better because you're just in that romantic mood a bit more. You know what I'm saying? It feels more like a date. I've had dates where I've met girls, you know, for lunch just because it was kind of convenient for me. You know, when I was in class and everything, just meet them for lunch quick, you know, easy, an hour, two hours. But I feel like I wasn't really, I didn't do what I needed to do on those dates because I couldn't, all right? It's harder to make moves. It's harder to be in a romantic setting. It's harder to seduce somebody in the daytime that's just facts bro nighttime is more suitable for that so if you're trying to get some action nighttime 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 end of discussion okay if you're trying to get some action nighttime nighttime that's the not nice time we didn't come to play all right so it's easier to seduce at nighttime it's easier to make moves at nighttime, and I'm not just talking about sex. Of course, sex can happen, but you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's easier at nighttime. Like, I don't want to explain this too much because you really have to know. Like, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't want to take my advice, test it out, bro. Go on a date in the morning, not morning, maybe like afternoon, whatever. Go on a date at night and see how different the vibe is, right? See how different that shit is. Nighttime is preferable, trust me. I now in terms of location in terms of location you kind of want to know the area well if you don't know the area well you're gonna miss out on some opportunities but if you take her to a date right let's say we go bowling bowling can only last so long like you're not gonna be bowling for three hours it's only the two of you right so you might want to bounce up out of there take her to a next spot now next spot could be somewhere that you're going on a walk you know somewhere that sells ice cream like the next spot don't gotta be crazy but the next spot could also be your crib so if you live close you can kind of set it up that way like logistically you want the date to make sense right because like i said if you're asking her out you're gonna be leading the date she's kind of gonna expect you to know what you're doing what are we doing at this time are we gonna do something after are we gonna get food blah 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 like you just gotta know what's going on with that being said that doesn't mean that your date you have to be taking her here 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 all right like i said the second portion of the date could be a fucking walk in the park bro it could be a walk in the park no pun intended bro <laughs> no pun intended but yeah like logistically you want it to maybe be close to home or close to your home close to her home close to a park close to an ice cream spot just 
just in case the date is going really well and you, you know you kind of want to kick it with her a bit more you kind of want to kick it with her a bit more you could bounce up out of there go to a next spot or just kick it in your car if you drive you know what i'm saying um yeah and since i just mentioned you know going on a walk summertime dates are the best because they're low maintenance for real like if i could just take a girl to go watch the stars watch the sunset i would you know why because the girls that really like you are down to do that type of shit listen i know there's this whole you know stigma of oh you can't take me to the cheesecake factory you can't take me on a coffee day you can't take me bowling i don't do it shut the fuck up I, because the only girls that are going to complain about you taking them to a chill first date are the ones that are trying to get something out of you, bro. If she's genuinely interested in you as a person and she's not trying to get nothing out of you, she doesn't even care what the fuck you're doing, bro. Trust me. Trust me. I would know. She doesn't care what the fuck y'all doing. It doesn't matter. Realistically. Because if she wants to see you, she's going to see you, bro. Alright, so don't even overthink about exactly where you're taking her and how much you're spending and blah 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 like if the opportunity presents itself a calm picnic at the fucking park is lit bro that's lit it's low investment you're not dropping a bag on a girl you don't even know if you like yet and it's just the vibes are there so i feel like summer dates just be outside, bro. Just be outside. Take advantage of that weather. You could literally just be outside, meet up with her, go for a walk, and that's that. Go for ice cream for show. For show, go for ice cream, frozen yogurt in the summertime. But yeah, like, I guess that's my advice. And, you know, I, I'm going to drop a video on what you should do on a first date, things that you should not do on a first date. I'm gonna drop that too, but I just wanted to give you guys that sauce about where to take her on a first date and why you're taking her there on a first date. All right? So I hope y'all enjoyed that. I right? Make sure you use that. All right? No fucking dinner dates. No movies. Okay? That's what's up. Make sure you subscribe. That's what's up. Thanks for tuning in. Season out.